Hey guys, today's video I want to share with you guys how I made over some pumpkins that I found at Dollar Tree for fall and Halloween. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys know that I shared with you guys how I found these stackable pumpkins at Dollar Tree and the uh, Dollar Tree Plus section for only $5. I really love them. They come in two different type of styles. You can get one that has all orange pumpkins or one that has one white pumpkin, one yellow pumpkin, and one orange pumpkin. And they look beautiful as is, but I wanted to give mine a little bit more of a makeover because I felt like that the colors were a little bit too bright and too plasticky for my style. So I wanted to give them a makeover. So the first set I wanted to do a uh, take on the terracotta pumpkins that everybody's making all over Instagram and Pinterest and so because this is plastic and it's a shiny plastic I wanted to um, prime mine so I did spray a gray matte primer on it I do suggest that if you do this you guys um, if you prime it first to get a white primer I only had gray primer on hand so that's why I use the gray primer but I suggest that you use a white primer because it's just so much easier to cover up so just that's my opinion on that but I used a gray matte primer and then the colors that I'm mixing together to make my terracotta look is this harvest orange that I get at Walmart this apple barrel paint craft paint and also this tan kind of beige paint called khaki also apple barrel and it's also from walmart and i just mixed it together until i got the color that i wanted is basically more orange than tan but depending on how you want yours to look is how much tan you put it how much orange you look at it you know a lot of people are doing these terracotta pumpkins and they're doing them a little bit more richer in orange a little bit more tanner so it all depends on the style that you're going for how much orange and how much khaki you use And here's how my terracotta pumpkins looked after I was done painting them two coats. And I have to say that normally when you do the terracotta pumpkins, after this, um, after you do a final, like your second coat, you take some baking soda or you take some flour and you sprinkle it on there and kind of make it look dusty and white. And that's how they're getting that terracotta look. I honestly loved how this looked and the color of it that I did not want to add the flour or the baking soda or anything to it because I just loved how this came out and how the color looked. I was in love with it. So I left mine like this. Um, but people do add flour and baking powder to it to or baking soda to it to make it a little bit more of the powdery look but I really love how this came out it looks absolutely gorgeous you can add leaves in between the pumpkins if you want to do that you can get a leaf garland and just wrap it around the pumpkins there are so many things that you can do with these pumpkins but sometimes I feel less is more so for me I liked it how this was and this could be a way that you can uh, decorate it um, you know use it with the little hay bells or you can also put them into um, planters and then have them in your front yard as well which I plan to do um, coming next year when I decorate for fall I'm gonna put these in the planters and they'll be on either side of my door for my next set of stackable pumpkins I decided that I just wanted to spray paint it all white and then have the stem black to give it more of a Halloween look and you could leave this just as is because it looks good just like it is but I decided that I wanted to add some spiders to it so I got this four pack of spiders from a Dollar Tree they come in black and gray um, I did do even though I got a black set I did spray some of it with some matte spray paint because I didn't want it to be too shiny with all the sparkles that it comes with it but you can keep it as is and then I just added it to my my pumpkin with my hot glue gun. I only added spiders to the front because once I decorate this you're not really going to see the back but you can add spiders all around if you like and then I want to show you guys a side by side of how the white pumpkin looks just the white pumpkin and how it looks with the spiders on it so you guys can see how it looks both ways and this will be perfect to decorate for Halloween. Another pumpkin that I also share with you guys on Instagram and TikTok that I loved in the Dollar Tree Plus section were these flame glow jack-o'-lanterns. I love the details on it. It looked like an actual pumpkin, like the colors on the color schemes on it, how it was two-toned. It looks like a real pumpkin, the speckle paint. I just loved it. So I knew that I wanted to grab a couple of these because I wanted to keep some original and some, you know, make them over. I love the flame on it because as you can see, it looks like there's an actual candle inside it. So it gives you like that candle look, but not, you know, the dangerous of, you know, actually lighting a candle. So I just love the complete look of these pumpkins. So like I said, I grabbed a couple and the first one I wanted to make over to look like 
what I saw on its DIY Denise's Instagram page. She made over this bunny last year and this was like a Dollar Tree faux cement bunny that she shared last year during Easter time. I love the technique that she used on this Easter kind of bunny that she got from Dollar Tree that I knew I wanted to do it for this pumpkin. So what you're gonna need is some white paint and some brown paint and you put more of the white paint than the brown paint. You basically only put like three dots of the brown paint and then you're also going to add in some baking soda as well and mix all together. And the paint has to be matte paint because it works better uh, texture wise to have the matte paint. And this is how it looks when the paint is dry and it has a nice texture to it. It gives that cement texture to it um, with the first coat of paint that we did. But now we need to add some dimension to this. So to do this, you're gonna have different colors and you're gonna do a dry brushing effect. So for me, I use some black, I use some gray, and I also use some white just in case if I went overboard on the gray and the black, I have the white to go back in there and kind of touch up on it. So you're gonna do a dry brushing effect like I said, and basically what dry brushing is all about dabbing. Just dab, dab, dab. You're gonna take a little bit of paint, dab some of it off, and then you're going to you know dab it all over the pumpkin. I started off with gray. I did have two colors of gray, but I noticed that I liked the darker one a little bit better than the other one. So I just did basically the first layer of gray, dabbing it, seeing how I liked it. Then I went in with some black and then I went in with some white just in case if I went too um, dark with the, the black, I can just kind of mute it with the white. And this is how mine turned out. And basically you just keep playing with the, the different paints until you get the look that you're trying to achieve. And this is what I was trying to achieve. I loved how it looks. It really looks like a cement looking pumpkin. You can add more darker colors if you want, you know, more of the gray or more of the black, or you can have more white, depending on what you're going for. But this is the color scheme that I was going for. I just love how this turned out. This pumpkin looks so good. It looks like one of the cement pumpkins that I've seen in different stores for much, much more. And I basically made it with my craft paints that I already had on hand and a $5 pumpkin from the Dollar Tree Plus section. It looks amazing when it's lit up. Again, I just love these pumpkins because you have the look of a candle flickering, but it's the safety of it just being a light so you don't have to worry about it. So these jack-o'-lantern pumpkins are amazing. You definitely need to go grab some if you haven't grabbed them already. I did decide to, like I said, I kept one just orange because I loved how it looked, but I also wanted to paint one all white with the stem black to give it a Halloween look. And I just think these three look great together, you know, paired together, or you can have them separate, however you guys want to do it. I just love how all this came together and how these look. Um, I can't wait to put them on my front porch and also in my living room because I feel like these are great to have in your living room so when you guys have your little spooky or Halloween movie nights you can put this on and I'm just I'm so in love with these three pumpkins let me know in the comments down below if you guys have bought any of these pumpkins and if you have DIY'd them and if you've done them differently than how I did it in this one I would love to see what you guys did with them and here's a little sneak peek for you guys on what I'm gonna do on my next video. I'm gonna share with you guys how I made this spooky tree right here and another tree as well. And I'm also gonna share with you how I made those little wood, um, those dark black wood barks right there as well. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok so that you guys never miss a video because I'll be sharing with you guys how I made these in the next video. But that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which pumpkin was your favorite and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.